So I caught a little bit of flack for the previous Terra Classic video that I did at calling it FUD and all these things. And you guys got to remember something, okay? I do these videos to, to keep you guys updated on things going on in the space, especially stuff like I said in that video, okay? Terraform Labs had said that it was not going to support Terra Station, the wallet anymore. And that's important, okay? It was ending on December 15th. Now, the good news is that they found a solution, okay? That's that's actually the great news. So now you shouldn't have to worry if you do hold Terra Classic or LUNC in Terra Station Wallet, okay? They said they figured it out this morning. They can now support legacy version and interchain version, okay? This was all in response to the switch from Terra Station to Interchange Station, the, the wallet that they were, were transitioning to. Now, the reason they were doing this is because this new Interchange Station was going to support various Cosmos chains, okay? That was the biggest thing. This update needed to take place in order for them to be able to do that. And with this, again, there was going to be downtime of up to six months, okay? That's, that's obviously a very long time. And like I said in that video, if you weren't going to be able to access your LUNC for six months, it's kind of a big deal. Again, that's why I do those videos. That's why I make sure I do those kind of titles because that could have been a doom and gloom moment for LUNC. But now everything's fixed. Hey, hooray. We're all, we're all happy again. We're all on the same page, right? Now, LUNC price hasn't been doing much lately. You know, it's just, it's following the rest of the market at this point. The market's just kind of up, down, sideways, not really doing much, you know, LUNC followed really the rest of the market, uh, the, what, in the wee hours of the morning, everything kind of dipped, took a little pullback, basically to the levels that we had just about a week ago. So nothing really happening at this point. Right now, we are all just sitting in the depths of the bear market waiting, okay? That's where we're at right now is waiting. We all just need to have patience, right? We need positive things to start playing out. Okay, we obviously know that inflation is still high, interest rates are high, all these sorts of macro factors are still affecting how crypto is moving. And obviously, LUNC, Terra Classic, is no stranger to this. Okay, it is it is stuck right in the middle of it, just like everything else. Now, there could be some signs of improvement as we continue to move forward. So in just a week here, we are actually going to have the FOMC meeting. So now we're going to know what the last of the interest rate hikes for the year are going to be. The market is, seems like is prepared for a 50 basis point hike. It would be the smallest hike that we've had in what, four, four periods, which is great to see, right? That's a step in the right direction. And the CPI data report is the following day on the 15th. Now, if that comes back positive, we may actually close the year on a positive note. We may start to see some green as we continue to move forward. If this, you know, FTX fallout kind of lessens, you know, if it, it just kind of you know fades into the the ashes that it should be, and you know we start to see some more positivity from the CPI reports and the job reports and things like that as we move into the following year into 2023, we may start to get a little bit of a recovery. Now I'm not saying that this will be the end of the bear market or anything like that. I think we still have some time in here. Okay, I think we will probably start to see something maybe middle of the year, end of spring, somewhere in there, but. We obviously just have to wait and see. This bear market is unlike bear markets that we've had in the past. It's it's same, same, but different, but still same, same, right? That's that's the quote that I'll use for the explanation of this bear market. It's still positive for, or still a lot of positivity for the things that Terra Classic is doing, the improvements that are being done on chain, the growth that is happening behind the scenes. That's the things that should be happening right now. And Terra Classic is one of a few that are doing this during these times where the prices are just kind of bleh, right? But as always, appreciate you guys stopping in, checking out the video. If you haven't already, do show your support for the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell. You can stay updated anytime there's new content live here on the channel. Hope you guys have a great day. Really hope to catch you in the next one. Take care.